in Karamoja, normally we have a tradition that when you want a wife, you you just you just uh, get the woman and rape, and that qualifies you for that. But uh, since Lokodo became uh, a minister, he has only not fought for only Karamoja, but he has also fought against this practice in the whole country at large. That is why you find that now as we talk, the, 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 the issue of rape has reduced. It is, in fact, it is no longer there. He has, for example, and over 100 children that he has been taking to school. We feel that the government should be able to do something about the children, even to the extent of taking over those ones that have been left uh, in the university and they have not finished school. He was very instrumental in ensuring that our cultures, our traditions are not watered down by the Western cultures. You've heard of uh, today there, is, uh, there are issues to do with uh, homosexuality, there are issues to do with defilement, all this Honorable Lokodo fought against. And a lot of acts and bills were passed in Parliament to ensure that uh, there is no adulteration of our culture. When we heard about this news, the sad news of the death of our father, we were really taken up badly. Uh, most of the children, the relatives were collapsing. They were hospitalized because they could not believe. He has been the light of the family. Given that all his brothers, none of them completed any education level to help. They have just been local. The locals in the village here, and they were warriors. And now there is a, a problem that has already been left. The problem of the kids. The Lord that the father was carrying, all his brothers were helpless, so he took over. Uh, we are over, can even reach like 400 kids.